Good morning, Joshu TV followers. Welcome to B Dock. And low and slow. And we are here again. We're going to do this boat in stages. And we're going to try and get his bimini top. Well, you can see that is just horrible. Crooked on the on the boat. It's got a bend. It's falling apart. Uh, but we're gonna try and get the frame squared away today. It was a, we were hoping that the winds. That's such a big piece of canvas. Um, I think I cut a 12 by 12 to cover that. And we were hoping that I could come down here today and get the frame squared away and stretch some canvas on it. Let me find a flag here. There's some flags. If you can see them over there off the back of that boat. And it's just a little too breezy uh, to stretch a piece of canvas that big by myself. And I didn't bring Cody with me. Uh, so we're just going to do the frame repair and then I've got a sea dock boat. Let's see. It's actually right behind this one Ooh. Bouncy docks All right, there is serendipity right there the boat right behind it is called love at first sight and that's our helm cover So that'll get us out of the Sun coverage slip. Here's a little low and slow. Looks like the kids have been out here swimming. Huge boat. Big bailing. So we're going to get started with the uh, frame repair. Get everything riveted back together. Thanks for following. Joshua TV followers. I don't know if you can pick that out with this GoPro, but I'm actually kind of happy with it. It turned out well. We had to, the whole thing wanted to lean to the starboard side, so I've got, and you can see it's actually bent right there. I've got straps pulling it back to port, and it's got, it's a little lower in the nose, and I might loosen the forward stands and drive them back down and that would pick that up to level it off with the rest of the boat but it actually doesn't look bad how it is now because actually with a little bit of a swept look to it it's level with the water because the boat does sit a little nose high so we might just leave it just how it is it's pleasing yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. The homeowner or the boat owner can live it out. Because the winds just kick up too much. I'll never get canvas on this and get a reasonable template. So we're going to come back with Cody and get that done. And move over to Sea Dock in the shade. Thank you for following. Well, good afternoon, Joshua TV followers. It's almost lunchtime. And we're out here by water base. Remember water base and the screen enclosure? It looks like it's holding up good. So we're out here on the end of sea dock next to lost wages. And not on call. That's half the fun of buying a boat is giving it a clever name. We're just talking to the Trojan's owner. Oh, that's a beautiful old boat. He's getting her all set back into motion. Problems with his lift, he's getting that all sorted out. But we are here today with Love at First Sight. And I was, this boat is so dirty. Oh my gosh. Get aboard here. The boat was just filthy dirty. This is the hosed off version of the boat. I borrowed the neighbor's hose and just just hosed it off a little but you can see that's what's left <clears throat> so then I templated my cover 
and fabricated the cover brought it back out and it almost fit when I darted right here I'm snapped to the outside of the boat right there and when I came over the top from the compass it's like the main forward point when I came and I pulled down over the top of the seat and I didn't have a pin there I had just the twist lock so I marked it with chalk and then I guess when I pulled this up with the stapler and darted it up tight I pulled a little too much because I was very short there yeah very short I was an inch so I took the scissors and sliced it to right there to relieve it and I'll sew in a one inch relief just like letting out a pair of pants and then everything else fit just fine all these snaps were in everything was fine until I get to that one and it was too short and of course I had the sail right in the shop because we were using it for something so it's not out in the ambulance uh, or I could just sew it up out there because it's getting a little too windy to be out here plus it's lunchtime and I'm hungry and it'll be time to go next week is looking good for weather so we'll be out here again next week well thank you so much for following along